actually were doing a podcast. Okay. okay. And Bill Cott. Yes. Oh look at you just appeared. There's such Mr. a thing as magic. Oh. What? Ma- Mayak. Children. You're to <laughs> detention. Sorry, that's what I remember. I remember a lot of detention. detention. Do you know you were at my because I never had a high school graduation, so I had one on the show. So you were at my high school graduation, Isn't technically. That's awesome. That is sweet. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. No, I was gonna say the only time Selena and I ever had like a cap and gown moment was on the show when we destroyed Tribeca. No, I'm gonna cry for like the fifty fifth time no. that I've ever cried about <laughs> what in a positive start way. Off the no, 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 like I mean that, in a positive way. I've heard so many kids say that like they consider that their graduation. It's yeah. true. You know? Aren't child actors sad? Mm-hmm. No, I'm kidding. No, no, I, <laughs> I mean, mm-hmm. yeah. I mean the kids who watched the sh- who watched the show and are now adults. You know, yeah, yeah. They felt so, you know, on yeah. that journey with you all. Yeah. They, so they said that felt like their graduation too. Yeah. That many people that watched the show didn't graduate high school. I guess. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they were fans of our show. Come on. Oh, stop! No, what that's the... very sweet. But yeah, no. no. So that's the, yeah. You were at my my technically my high school graduation. I didn't have another cap so and awesome. gown graduation until nursing school, and that was really just wow. a sash and a half. But anyway. Um, so we're welcoming Bill for those yes. who can't see who him. Who played Mr. Larry Tate? And the best that principal ever was. That name is based on the bewitched yeah. character that was called Larry Tate. Yes. Yeah. Isn't that funny? I'll, 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 you didn't I would know guarantee. That. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Eighty percent of the people that watched our show, who were kids at the time, probably didn't know, and like ninety percent of the parents did. Yeah. And we're laughing because there was also the art teacher, Mrs. Major Healy. Yeah, oh, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Which was from I Dream a Genie. And, yeah. and w- we, loved, was we loved was, an Easter egg. Yes. Like a little hidden joke but on Wizards. Was so, sure. I loved that. Yes, what was so wonderful. I mean, uh, it, like Pixar does this great. It appeals to the kids mm-hmm. and also to the adults. I mean, we have been talking about how so many people come up and say, oh, I loved watching your show with the kids. The other one's not so much. But this one, so good, you mm-hmm. know, which, which is so important. I think Peter had a, Peter Marietta had a, a big part of that. You know, uh, mixing in fun for everyone. It was yeah. a good balance. I yeah. feel so stupid. I, like the I, anarchy I, symbol? Yes, <laughs> yes. Come on. Where I was that? It. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> that was like, Alex was like, yeah, I'm just putting an A for Alex. And it's like, no, it that has to symbol. be Peter's, uh, in my no, mind. It, his yeah, punk rock It was 100% yeah. punk rock from I Peter apologize yeah. to the group. I did not know. <laughs> no, it, awesome. it's a really, it's one of my favorites. Like, yeah. Uh, the first time we met is when I was auditioning for a movie that you did, which yes. is The Ringer. And you did the character Thomas. Thomas. And Who when we were auditioning, yeah. and uh, uh, it was for people who do not know, it was Johnny Knoxville, and he was going to uh, sabotage. Either, right? Yes. Yeah. And sabotage the Special Olympics by acting. Uh, a, What's the correct term? Mentally challenged. Mentally challenged yeah. to to rig the Olympics. Yeah. Now we went in and we were auditioning together and having kind of like an improv session. And you made me laugh so much, not to say that's why I didn't get the part, but I couldn't keep a straight face because I was laughing so hard. Where did you come up with that character? How did that come that to, to life? That character was kind of an amalgam of people that I had worked with. I val- volunteered for people with disabilities and also our next door neighbor. Uh, was a gentleman who my, my mom would always ask me, you know, because like when you when you first learn how to drive, any excuse to drive is a really cool excuse right. to drive. Um, so she would say, uh, can you take Houston to the Schnooks, which is the St. Louis uh, grocery store. Can you take him to the Schnooks so you can get some food? Uh, and so I would I would be like, yeah, hop on into the 74 Malibu. Yeah. <laughs> and I'd take Houston and go. Um, so it, it was, it was kind of like an amalgam of people that I'd worked with and met and known over the years, always done respectfully. Uh, and so it would always be, even though like, you know, society tends to treat a lot of people with disabilities as unseen and low status, he would always take high status in a scene and that would be the humor, the, you know, the perspective switch. So, um, I had a, a scene that I did in, um, in second city touring company, um, that was it was based on that character who at that point we called him Frederick and then he became Thomas because when people knew that this film was being made uh, and they were looking for people who could do a sensitive realistic uh, portrayal uh, obviously the movie would be done differently today right. they would have a you know completely yeah. uh, cast of people with disabilities uh, although I am ADHD and pretty heavily so um, which is something I'm just finding out about but um, uh, so that so yeah so they found out about that. I went into the room and Barry Blaustein, whom you met, 
said, okay, um, I don't know where you are, but you're in my movie. <laughs> and I was like, okay. That's a good audition. <laughs> yeah, it was, yeah. I think he wasn't sure at that point yet whether I was going to be Thomas, but Thomas was such an innocent character anyway. And he was like, so sweet. yeah. Do you remember what your audition process was like? I do. Yeah, so walk us over that. Tell us, Bill. I've honed it because kids ask this all the time. Oh, on really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, the interesting thing was, uh, I was flying out. At that point, I was still living in St. Louis. Okay. My first wife and I had bought a house on the um, South South City in St. Louis, and um, right off of Gravoy. I was flying back in for auditions, if it was a big, important audition. Um, not necessarily for a comedy guest star. I was flying out originally to audition for the, the sidekick in the movie All About Steve. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I, I booked a coaching session uh, with one of my favorite acting coaches, Leslie Kahn. Amazing, and I, yes. And I was like, okay, so I'm going to fly all the way out there, get in a, a rental car and be there, you know, uh, in time for the coaching and then do the other audition. And then, they, and then my cousin uh, got killed mm-hmm. right I, before I was, uh, you know, the night before I was going to get on the airplane. Yeah. I'm and, sorry to hear that. That's yeah. terrible. Yeah, he was, you know, so much younger than me and, and had so much uh, left to, to give. Um, but um, wonderful person. And he died that night and I was devastated. And then I get a call from my agent saying, we want you to audition for this Disney show. Like, uh, there's a pilot called The Amazing yeah. O'Malley's. Um, we want you to take a look at that and get an idea of what the show's about. And then memorize these lines. I was like, I'm not going to do that. Yeah. I'm, re- I'm just not going to do I'm it. I'm glad you said that. I, this sounds like a great show. And they said, no, you really have to. You have to. And I was like, uh, oh, I'll go in. I'll try to make it there. But there's no no earthly way that I'm going to be able to get through rental, drive the car across town, and and get to Hollywood Center Studios uh, and be off book uh, in, in grief while I'm trying yeah. to get together yeah. my emotions and my life so I can carry through with this other audition that I've already invested this money in. Right. Sorry, no. Uh, and they said, do us a favor and just, tr- just see if you could get there. So I, I arrived um, an hour past my appointment time, which they said was the latest possible time anybody was getting in there that day. And I pulled up outside the studios and I said, okay, I'm here. Should I bother going in? They said, yes, they're waiting for you. So I went on the lot, walked there as fast as I could, got there. Read through it once. I was still, still on book, still looking at the sure, sides the yeah. whole time, um, and really not caring. And no, no disrespect to the no, to the casting, whom I love. Of course, what you yeah. were going through is yeah. the fact yeah. that you showed up at all. Right. You know what I mean. Yeah, in my mind, but you never know how to convey that. It's like, oh, by the way, you know, a loved yeah. one died. You know, you don't want to do that. No, of course. So not. yeah, it was a very but... awkward. Um, anyway, so. And I was like, okay, there, I did it. And then I, I walked out and I heard I was I was one of the quickest uh, guest stars ever hired uh, really? for a Disney project. Yeah, because the yeah, yeah apparently I went up and I had a clean enough pass that they were like, yeah, yeah, yeah we'll hire this a guy. Clean right. enough <laughs> pass. We you vetted know, him. He's good. I and I think I'm I'm I, I I give some credit to Peter. I, I think he was probably one of the reasons why why I got brought on. You know, he vouched. Uh, yeah, and me too. Great show. Todd did a great job developing the show and creating all these wonderful yeah. characters. But I I think Peter saw me and was like, I think Bill could do really good at this. You know, which and he was absolutely so. right. Twenty. Three, 22 episodes yeah. later, right? You had yeah. your own season, I thought you were going to say 23, 22 years old. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually younger. <laughs> it's um, interesting. We've had a bit of a theme with people that we've talked to that when you uh, don't, it's not that don't care, but when you're when you're just doing your thing and you, you haven't put like blood, sweat, and tears into yeah. your audition, mm-hmm. that it seems to come your way then. It's you when know? it's most yourself. It, yeah, it's, yeah. Right. Well, because then, then it, it's something, and it's the hardest thing to do as an actor of letting go of the idea of getting the job. Mm-hmm. And we were talking about how, like, um, a lot of actors have have talked about how, like, you have really learned to master acting when auditioning is your job, and that's it. Yeah. And if you get to t- see it through, wonderful, amazing. But auditioning right. is an, is your chance to act. That's your job. Yeah. Ooh, I get to do it again. To- totally. But if you <laughs> but if you let go yeah. of the idea, and I'm sorry that that was the thing in your life that caused you to let go, but mm-hmm. you know it does allow you to just kind of trust your instincts a little bit more when you yeah. let go of that idea of getting the job. When you know? you're a genius, 
and improv. It's I mean, true. it's you you're you were so fast like uh, uh my dad and Robin Williams and and Jonathan Winters and you have a brain that works faster than me. most. Almost embarrassing to be placed in the no, in the company the, of those well, you didn't true, do Bill. it. You didn't do it. David That's that right. <laughs> it's yeah. my fault. Say no, it again. But, <laughs> yeah. no. no, but it's true though cuz I Thank remember you. when when we would do improv stuff being like so excited and so just like ravenous because i'm like oh i gotta keep up i gotta like because i've talked to De- deloise a lot about how you know I, I, this was this show was the first time i ever did comedy mm-hmm. so whenever i had a chance to either watch somebody that was really good with improv or comedy or, or or physical comedy like like you and 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 i it was such like i was so ravenous for more because i just felt like i was such a sponge learning all of it so no mm-hmm. it was always so fun getting to see you improv or like oh. come up with something new and and i know like the first episode you came in you did like the pop quiz thing where where like you basically just gave the answer away, yeah. <laughs> which was like so silly, but like you carried it off so well. It was such a big character that you made grounded. It's so right. silly, right? We were talking about that, that the, 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 there's certain things that are written well, and I think the show is written really well, but there, the, the way you delivered that, because we're rewatching, yeah. I'm rewatching that episode, mm-hmm. and the way you did that just was amazing and, and seamless and so funny. Did you... You know, the show wasn't on. It wasn't on television. So yeah. did, what, what did you know uh, other than Peter or what was your feeling coming on the, the set? I didn't know what to expect. And it was one of the kindest, happiest experiences, you yeah. know, from the first time on. We haven't paid him to say that, everyone. Bow, bow, bow. <laughs> Sunday Night uh, Football, what was that sound? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it was more like a Quinn Martin production yeah. uh, going into commercial. Yeah. Just like saying like, Disney mm-hmm. stuff in the past that you done? I any? had, well, uh, <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, my first big project was the Dana Carvey show on uh-huh. ABC. And that was right as Disney bought ABC. And they weren't expecting it to be late night comedy in prime time. Oh, they weren't expecting okay. to have the first sketch ever being seen on that show was uh, Bill Clinton breastfeeding puppies. Oh my God. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I had worked with Disney before in a completely different capacity and we were opening for, or no, no, our, our, our lead in was, um, in other words, the show that was before us, um, <laughs> Uh, was, he, he just did it. I, always, I always explain oh, certain things that are going I, on at Jenny. Yeah, like, thanks. People, no, yeah. but sometimes it's helpful, and sometimes he's like, "So a set is," and we're like, "All right, <laughs> chill out." I know I'm being an asshole as per usual, but so no, he's like, "So an actor." So what was your lead in? Home Improvement with Tim okay. Allen, the like number one family oh, show in America, yeah. and that's who they were promoting. There's a documentary yeah. called uh, uh, "Too Funny to Fail" on Hulu about it. And oh, they, I think like, I've seen that one. They, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, they photoshopped in uh, Kermit's arm around Dana, uh, and, and they like turned his white polo shirt uh, pink. And oh. like, like, here's our new Disney lineup and on ABC like, Disney Ooh, Family Nights. So maybe like, not. Oh, no. Yeah, you're going to get Grandma the Clown. Oh, oh <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's, oh, yeah. It's, a, that's, it's very interesting what, what, Disney <laughs> likes or doesn't like. It's so interesting what what the, what is fine when, and when, what but isn't. back in the day, mm-hmm. I was like, I don't want to do a cable show. I want to be on a prime time thing and sure. you know all that stuff. And I, I've said this already, but I, I on the amazing amount every chance I, I had said no. I don't want to do this this show, you mm-hmm. know. And then they came back with a, a season, and I, and I said yes, but I thought. I was going to go, hey, don't do that, you know? And I told you so, kids. You know, I didn't yeah. think I was going to be like yeah. in Has this involved. ensemble cast. David also could... thought the show was going to go for a year and that's it. And I told him, I was like, most Disney shows are guaranteed pretty much three, four years. But I didn't, didn't know, know that. that. They when, I heard, yeah. when I heard it was going to premiere after um, w- after the premiere of High School Musical 2, I was like, Okay, we're in for a ride. Yeah. yeah. I don't even know if I'm going to be on this show again, but my name is Larry Tate. Yeah. yeah. yeah I was yeah. like, we're on for a ride. So who are the people or like the, the influences from your life that you mm. like came up with that character? Oh, for? what influenced Larry Tate? Yeah. Um, I think uh, to a large degree, uh, it was like all of the 1960s. Uh, authority figures yeah, from the nineteen sixties. Sure. This guy's trademark has to be oblivious. Yeah. And then of course Well, I mean, come on, you get a principal who's obsessed with Westerns and and, and 
in cowboys and shoot them up kind and of that was the funnest sugar in the in the oh yeah, recipe to play with i was like okay well now just throw out anything because it was so buckaroo. random why we had a new york principal in tribeca who loved why do you think that was what was the catalyst in my imagination I have, I think he's married to a woman who's like, so New York, it's unbelievable. <laughs> but she grew up on a dude ranch. Yeah. In my mind, that's who he's married to. I I'm love the backstory. Why did we I'm never so see enamored Mrs. With Larry Louis Tate? Lamarck. She's mentioned only in the first episode that he's in. That's the wait, what did you say? We, we just watched this episode. Yeah, we don't what, remember. What did you the say? The first episode was, was the, uh, was, uh, he mentioned something about his wife. Yeah. Um, uh, when when he comes and visits, uh, and, and like people from uh, Hawaii and and all over the world, there were people out. from Hawaii. Oh, I yes, said that I, there was. What oh, episode was this? The, uh, the the hula dancers. It's called. What happens? Potion in, commotion. What happens in that episode? Because I said to him, it was the, the one the, the episode with Daryl well, Sabera that there were Hawaii dancers, and he said no. I always forget which 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 of the was, magical elements there was in it. But it was the the oh. the student student so council student right. government. Hi, this episode of Wizards of Waverly Pod is brought to you by Scentbird. Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service that helps you empower yourself through scent. Rose and vanilla are two of my favorite scents. I'm constantly trying different fragrances to accentuate different sides of myself for different seasons. What's one of your favorite? I like rose. Yeah, rose I like is a nice really rose nice, scent. Right? Yeah. With Scentbird, for $17 a month, you can choose a new designer fragrance every month. And you can choose from brands like Gucci and Prada and more indie labels like Skylar and Heretic. So you always know what you're going to get and it's never a surprise. With each fragrance, you get a 30-day supply to really check if it's right for you before you commit to a whole bottle. And every month, your chosen fragrance will come right to your door in the special Scentbird case. <laughs> and you see, you, all you have to do with a simple twist of the gold top, you can either open it up and you see the perfume right, right. inside, or the really nice thing is you can just spray right from in there. I'm not gonna spray it because it's gonna get the whole studio <laughs> smelling wonderful. So this month I received three fragrances in the mail. I received Herva Fabulosa, which is floral and Ooh. fruity, which I really liked. Haltine Parfums de Marley and Cicely Le Rive du Uber. The Parfum de Marley I think is my favorite because it's kind of like spicy and sweet, which feels like me. It is, it's very you. <laughs> if you want to start trying new scents to accentuate all sides of you. Then use code WIZARDS55 at checkout for 55% off your first month at Scentbird. Now, if you, excuse me, I'm gonna have to go douse myself in this. You should get one for Yulia too. I will, are you kidding? Yeah, you're gonna take I one. just got one. <laughs> <laughs> The student government thing, the the student UN. Oh, that's right. With the with the the person that was like kissing your ass, yeah. basically. Yeah. So yeah, I yeah. was surrounded by these these yeah. dancers backstage. <laughs> I was like, I like how Disney treats me. Who <laughs> <laughs> dance? Okay, when I did, get to wear a bolo. The bolo tie was my favorite. I remember yeah. which, very which she's wearing one. You guys no, can't this, see you, it. This, yeah. Yeah. Th this is this is, from the show. This is um, uh, not literally from the show. Oh. This was given to me by a very good friend of mine, yeah. Lou Mirabal. It's beautiful. Um, yes. It's great turquoise. It is. Yeah. Um, I was going to say, because there was one I distinctly remember loving, and in between takes, I was like, I can't. I just was like spinning it. because it was. I like, wish a little, they had that one still. I know, but it was like a little steel like rodeo rider on like. Yep, and you could spin back, it. And you could spin it. And I literally remember before takes just being like. <laughs> <laughs> and then like just entertaining so myself it. and you're like can this child leave me alone so i can focus do but, you have a thing that people ask you to do from the show i mean uh, uh it, my, my whole thing is that you there it's alex but was there something yeah. do something that uh, other than buckaroos i think buckaroo they want to hear a lot yeah. Yeah. um uh oh gosh i'm trying to think there there isn't like one specific one people ask me you know what's what's my favorite line, and, and, and because I don't have any favorites, I don't play for. I tell yeah. them, "Whoa, Nelly!" Because I said it on more than one episode. Yeah, you said that one. And right. I can say it funny. Yeah, and I have it on T-shirts. You do? Uh, yeah. If you go to my link tree on TikTok <laughs> or Instagram, oh my god, uh, they say they say, "Whoa, Nelly!" and, and they have a bolo tie uh, on it. Yeah, I love um, that. silk screened on it. Yeah. Do you have a favorite episode? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before you just you said he that, doesn't play favorites. I don't well, play favorites. Come on, there's got to be. Okay, okay. You're like, when but you I have the, two favorites. I don't play favorites. But my two yeah. favorite children are. Exactly. <laughs> in, in later episodes, you, you became a zombie. Yes. Right? How long were you in the makeup? And what, did you do any prep for zombieing? I was, I didn't do any 
prep for zombieing other than being a nerd all my life and having seen a bunch of zombie movies, Fair. but still not a zombie enthusiast. Um, but yeah, I had to I had to get there at like five a.m. that morning to start the makeup process. Yeah, and so Disney. <laughs> I forgot that I was in the makeup. You know, after a while, it's yeah. on your face so much, yeah. and you're just like, uh, okay, you know, like if you've ever if you ever have any sort of like you know mud mask or something like that. After a while, it's on you, and you're just like, I just get used to it. So I just realize I just talk like this until right. it's off. Yeah. So same thing with the zombie thing. I I wasn't I wasn't remembering it was on. And and that day was particularly beautiful outside. They served steak. I remember on set that day, which you could smell T bone steaks, <laughs> which is great uh, when everyone's dressed up as a zombie. Right. Yeah. Uh, so there, there I was sitting at a table outside because it was such a beautiful day, cutting it. <laughs> David walked by and he goes, "I gotta get a picture. I gotta get a picture." I'm like, it's me. Yeah. <laughs> and I said, "Why?" And he I'm said, "Oh, you gotta see this." Okay. And so um, I just. Keep on cutting my steak. <laughs> There's a picture. And I realized, oh, I'm a zombie eating meat. Eating <laughs> That's mostly raw meat. Like, I, didn't I don't know get who's it. like, let's have steaks on zombie. I day. didn't even get it. Oh, Why? I didn't think of myself as a zombie. Sometimes you live as a zombie for so long That's you true. forget what yeah. life is. You forget you're dead inside. Did you, I, the, the, it's really fun. I did an episode of uh, Without a Trade, whatever it was, and I got David shot. And loves I had, to. Recite Apparently his entire I'm, IMDb on this like, show. By the time we're done, we're going to know <laughs> every <laughs> single thing. You know, I'm also <laughs> on <laughs> IMDb. Oh <laughs> but I, had a sh I was shot. I was shot with a shotgun yeah. and died. And I had mm -hmm. like, you know, blood and the thing all over my face. Mm -hmm. And I was like, can I leave it on? And then I went to like 7-Eleven and, yes, and, and, you sure. know, bought something. And I loved people looking it's at so me fun. going like, prosthetics. Prosthetics are some of my favorites. Which of those of you who don't know, Prosthetics <laughs> are when you have like makeup on your face. I know she I'm, loves to make fun of me. I love you so much. I don't do that when I'm nice and polite. You I have know. something to worry about. I, I always know. tell yeah. people that if I'm doing the bless your heart, mm -hmm. oh, like sweet, it means I fucking hate you. Yeah. So if I'm giving you shit, it means I love you. Watch her face. I I, I fucking hate this. <laughs> I'm taking this away from you. There was magic on this show. Uh, what? Detention. No, I don't know why. I okay, always so want to say what? that. I, I know you Detention. don't play favorites. <laughs> But what was, if you remember the episode that you did that I was like, that you were the like, two oh, episodes that I had the most fun on were yeah. Get Along Little Zombie, the one where I'm a zombie. Yeah. And um, uh, the Western show, which is oh. called The Western which Show. Which I'm not in That's the Western totally show. You're not. I know. It really bumps me. I was filming the Harriet the Spy, like, yeah. There's my aim. Oh my God, There's Jen my Stone movie. pulled the Deloise. I did, I did. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna happen. No, but I was filming the Harry the Spy Blog Wars or whatever spinoff of that that ended then, ended up great. We had terrible ratings on that movie. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I missed the Shakira episode. I missed that one. I missed. I so missed many the Shakira ones. episode too because some kids think that I'm Uncle Kelbo for some reason because they're like a oh, fat guy that was on the show. You must oh, be Uncle which, Kelbo. By the way, for those Man, Jeff Gordon couldn't look anything alike. For those of you who, like. who can't Putin. see Bill, Putin. Bill looks great. Yeah. Didn't you just lose fifty pounds? I lost yeah over fifty pounds. And he congratulations, that's Thank awesome. You. We're very happy for your health. And I how too. did you do that? Um. Well, uh, it's, it started off with um, like trying to manage stress. So sure. I would walk. I would walk every morning after dropping my daughter off at school. I would go to the local rec center and there's a big track and I would walk around for about a mile, sometimes three miles a day, depending mm -hmm. upon how much time I had. Um, I, I started, part of it was a, a health scare because my, yeah. my dad passed away the same day that I was diagnosed as diabetic. Oh, wow. Um, and I'm sorry about that. That's Yeah. That's quite a one-two punch. Yeah, yeah, type two, and I'm technically not diabetic any longer, but I'm still Please. taking, I'm still injecting Trulicity once yeah. a week in my leg and taking- uh, Metformin. Metformin, thank yeah. you. Metformin twice a day. Yeah, I know you know all about it. But no, I always love when you inject yourself and people are like- I don't do it in public. I do it in oh, front of oh. my refrigerator. Well, you get to do it once a week. Shut up. I have to do it all day. I know. Yeah. Uh, no, that wasn't but an they, I know. But they, but you know no. what? They, they, they should have more um, private places for you to do that because in the middle of a bathroom is an awkward place. To well, to be honest, I, when I, and this, uh, this is about you. This is about me. But like, mm -hmm. it, it, to be honest, like I have to do it so much during the day. I'm not going to get up and go to the bathroom. Yeah. I remember I had a friend, like when I first started, uh, I had an acquaintance that was like, oh God, I hate needles. Can you just do that? Shut up, pancreas. Um, but I, they were like, you know, I hate needles. Can you do that somewhere else? And I was like, well, I don't love doing this either. Right. And yeah. I have to do this all the time. So no, look away, like leave yeah. me alone. We, we, we had lunch recently, you yeah. checked your thing and you did that. And, yeah. and 
was fine. I uh, have a hard time injecting myself because I've never, I, I think I had to do it like once. Uh, I'm not going to tell this, that story. Was this the steroids? Stop it. <laughs> well, so anyway, it started happy. with the diabetes yeah. struggle, and then I started making oatmeal every morning, yeah. and then I started doing these these lives on Facebook called uh, Live Jive. And so I would make oatmeal because I was bored, and I was just sure. like, I'm just, I have ADHD, so like I always try to find another activity to do while I'm doing another activity. And I was like, what can I do while I'm doing oatmeal? Yeah. Oh, that was just when Periscope came along. So I started doing Periscope, and then yeah. all of a sudden I was like, I know much more people on, on Facebook. So I started doing it on Facebook. Yeah. And now that I'm on TikTok, I do live jive on TikTok. Too. That's so cool. I love, I love that. that. I love, but you did like the right thing where you make like a lot of little changes and stuff, you know? Yeah. Um, that's awesome. Well, you look great. Now, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to pull a you know who. Oh, Lord. I'm going to so, see myself in between, out by. In between season two and three, I lost 35 pounds. Now, mm -hmm. the family was lost in the desert. And then when we came back, it was a few hours later that we were found or, or whatever it was. And then they, they put in the show. Oh, that was a long walk. I feel like I lost 35 pounds. <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, I That's didn't know that. Well, but that was a great and redemption for you, right? Because they always made fat jokes and that drove me nuts. Yes. So. And, and they were they were funny, but uh, then, then I wasn't so fat. So it became a little tricky. Yeah. Yeah. You know, my dad, who was... Dom de Louise. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's your dad. I'm not going to give you shit for dropping. Oh, it. thank like, you. Okay. Father. Yeah, I better not. You're like, this but he was, he was always, always heavy. He loved food. He had a, yeah. a you know, problem with, with eating all the time mm -hmm. and, and stuff. And we would find peanut butter in the sock drawer. I mean, it happened, right? <laughs> peanut butter in the sock drawer. I don't know. My brain goes to like. Well, it happened. There was chocolate anyway, sorry, everywhere. But now, now I've totally forgotten what I'm I was sorry. saying. But I he, totally screwed you up. No, he, but the, you know, yeah. You were but you were talking about your, you'd lost 35 pounds. Your dad like was always heavier and. You it know. was tough. It was mm -hmm. it, food. Yeah. Is yeah. tricky because like you don't have to be around alcohol or drugs, but mm -hmm. you have to be around food. Yeah. Food is always yeah. there, and if you have a problem with it, it's it's an addiction. It's tricky. It's yeah. a, it can be it can really be an addiction. Yeah, it, it, they've done studies where it triggers like that part of the brain. Yeah. So, um, I love a good Danish. <laughs> I thought your wife was German. <laughs> she is. So I love a Google. He doesn't. No. He doesn't tell Yulia that he likes Danish. Right. I'm I'm rewatching the show, yeah. and and my wife has not seen it, but yeah. one uh, episode, so we get to watch it anew together. Right. And and are there things that you watch when you when you've watched the show and you're like I don't remember that at all? And yes, so you're watching it unbiased. Isn't, Isn't it that crazy? weird? I, and, I, and I thought it was just me. No, that had that it's all of I'm us. glad. I'm it's glad all it's all of us. Because sometimes I'm like, that's right. I said that. Yeah. I now remember. And there's other things I was like, I didn't say that. Do you do you laugh at yourself? Do you think it's funny? Or, or do all you the time. are you a bit, I laugh at myself. Yeah. Oh yeah. Right. Oh, believe me, my ego lets me laugh at every little thing I do. All right. Is your daughter watching the show, or is she too young? She's six, she's, right? She's seen it, and she's not impressed with me. Oh, really? As 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 a daughter shouldn't be. Yeah. You know what I mean? I feel like because your daughters aren't like you're amazing. You know what I mean? When watching you on the show, yeah. Because yeah, my my daughter said this the other don't, day. I was like, I was like, I made a mistake. There. We were playing some video game together, and I made a mistake, and we were on a co-op or something. And I said, I'm sorry. She goes. That's okay. Dads make a mistakes all the time. Oh, and I was like, so... She's so... I still can't believe she's she's almost six. Almost six? She's going to be six. Oh, my God. December 9th. Because you... Which I don't know where you were. You were supposed to be there. We had like a little mini reunion at my house yeah, years I, ago. And she was, was a baby. At a, at a I was the only other like adult that was there. It was, it was all the kids. Did you feel really old? Uh, well, having a child there with yeah. me too. Totally. Hey, everybody. You know, Totally, but she was so cute. You weren't the only adult. There were other people there. There were okay, yeah, there were, but not a ton. Yeah, not a ton. Yeah, but all of you were just so grown up. It was like, oh my gosh, how much time has like happened in just a short amount of time? Yeah, isn't that crazy? It's like magic. I was telling Jen in the beginning. I would, you know, if I made a mistake, I would go, "Oh, fuck your mother's ass." You know, that was my saying a mistake. You know, and then people came up to me and were like, "David, they're fourteen and twelve, so you can't." And I was like. Inside, it was like, shit, I'm going to be here for a while and I can't say any bad words. Then a few, you know, months later, they're all saying bad words. Yeah. And I'm like, what? They're, they're what? saying bad words. They, they got different rules. <laughs> yeah. They, um, okay, so we do this thing called crystal ball questions. Yes. Oh, and that's when um, I get David, to do David this. David gets to enjoy And the, I get to uh, uh, play with my wand. <laughs> what? And I'm going from the bottom here. Yeah. All right. Jen and now we're here. We'll ask. Okay. Oh. So, since you were a guest on the show, 22, possibly 23 times. No, 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 it was 23. 23, okay. Yeah. Who was your favorite guest star? Since you Other than you. Shakira. Ted McGinley. 
Yeah. Oh. And it was, here's, here's because my heart left the table read. Because I, as a habit, don't read it before a table read. I don't really? Read really? Yeah. Good for Holy you. Holy shit. Yeah. I would pour over that sucker. I know. And you probably, the best thing you could do for the writers on their behalf yeah. is work is on it a little. Best, best delivery. But um, I was going through a lot personally at the yeah, time. Fair enough. Um, so uh, the best way that I could manage it was, you know, and maybe I would flip through it, you know, before the table read, but I, there wasn't a lot of study. But I reached. I reached the, the page where it says, you know, well, now that Larry Tate isn't our principal anymore, I was like, that's the reason McGinley's on this episode. Oh, because no. he was, he was, you know, on, he was on every sitcom. His, his, he would replace, first, I think right? he would be he the would, person who replaced like Happy yeah. Days so, and then, yeah, yeah, everything. That's why it was such a genius casting decision yeah. to have him as the, the, the superintendent, Clanton. Um, and he was just so cool and such a nice guy. And I was so threatened by him. I thought he was going to be a jerk just because he always plays those sorts of jerk roles, yeah. you yeah. know? Uh, and sometimes people, you know, their personality bleeds out a little bit into the characters. Sure. I'm like, that's why they're like that. But no, he was so <laughs> sweet and such a kind guy uh, and so fun to work with. Um, so, yeah, I would say out of all the guest stars. Oh, that's he a good was the one. He's the yeah. nicest. I, I worked with him on the uh, Scott Baio show, uh, uh, See Dad Run. And I, yes. I, he was, that's another he one came up to me, stop it, and, and boom. <laughs> um, and I'm just going to say it. Scott Baio was an asshole. He was so mean really? and so not nice. And That's I'm fine with saying that yeah. because uh, uh, he was not nice. Mm. He was so not nice yeah. to me. And well, you know Ted, what they say about child actors. Uh, <gasps> oh, what? I'm sorry. Huh? I'm sorry. They're dicks. No. Everybody on that show was amazing. And Ted was, was guest starring. Uh -huh. And he came up to me and he was like, you're doing a great job. Like, Aww, like he, which is a guest yeah. star is like a he, when you're like a one off or one hundred percent on a show and you're I, just trying to like keep up mm -hmm. with everybody. I that's feel, so nice. I feel so happy that he was so nice. He made me feel good because mm -hmm. Scott made me feel so bad, mm -hmm. you oh, know. Man. And and if he's listening, hey Scott, how are you? No, <laughs> um, it it is interesting. On Twitter, because, like you're not supposed to say something negative about someone else. Yeah. My mom always said to me. Don't say anything negative. Mm -hmm. But there's three people in my oh life. My no. He's one of them that I'm allowing myself He's to like, say. He's like, I'm going to name that. all three of them he right just now. Was, he just was mean. Yeah. And he didn't have to be. And that was one of the things that was so great about our show. Yeah. Everybody was nice. Everybody worked yes. as a team. Well, because we, we all... also checked people. Like, if you started acting like an asshole, we'd be like, mm -mm, we mm -hmm. don't do that, you know? Exactly. We nip that shit in the bud pretty, yeah. pretty fast. All right, it's your turn. Uh, Joanne Worley was another one. Was an oh, one, that right? was such a good one. Oh, oh right? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she, she. Oh. I, I remember, she just you go. Somebody of her caliber and and her time, you just go. Yeah. Oh you, yeah. You know, like like when we had Tim Conway on the show, they just were. They were. You just themselves. let them do their thing. Yeah. yeah. Right. And and, yeah, and she you just was try so to keep funny. Up, you know. Okay. Now I'm gonna read this. What's your biggest mistake so far? That's My biggest mistake. Yeah, so like some of these are long. some of these are dark. Like uh, in life or on the show? Um, how about both? Yeah, he's like, no. How about no? On the show, like I said, I was going through a lot of tough stuff in my yeah. life. So, um, sometimes I would take naps uh, on set. <laughs> like, why not go into your dressing room if you're going to take a nap? People <laughs> yeah. understand, you know. Yeah. But I would. I there would be that little area between what would be my the. You know, the pretend my office, we, we had those swing sets. Right. Yeah. And a swing set is not something on a playground. I've already described yeah, to the nice audience if they're watching what a swing set, set is. There we go. So <laughs> so that so that office that was hardly ever there was just that fake background of that leading into the office. Right. Yeah. That little area there where there was a tiny desk. Yeah, I would yeah. go in there and and God knows if I might have been snoring during takes if I was on set because mm. I have sleep apnea too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I got everything. I took a lot of naps. Yeah, but, you know, in a dressing room, it's okay. It's okay. No, on set, set. I on took set. a lot of naps. I did a movie with Eric Roberts, and uh, I was go. playing a... Stop it! <laughs> and he, he, I was the soccer coach, and I was yeah. yelling, and he was supposed to be well, behind me. Hold on, me. hold on. What was the project called? Uh, uh, Golden Shoes. <laughs> and, and, yeah. and I'm, you know, coaching the kids, and he's supposed to talk, and I'm, like, staying in it. And, I, you know, he's asleep behind me. And I was like, I'm not going to wake him up. He's asleep. I'll be a crafty. Let me yeah. know when he's awake. <laughs> so sleeping on camera is not good either. Mm. No, that that's worse. I arguably worse when you're on camera. That's a tough question. Thank you for answering. All right, we'll, we'll do I, one more and then wait. We'll wait, you know go. what I said in my oh biggest my mistake oh when I God. got that question? I said getting married to that to the woman I originally gotten married to. 
It's the truth. Okay. I could have thrown two of those and, out. All right. All right. Yeah. Here we go. Jen, for you. There. Okay. All right. Thank you. Oh. All right. Um, what's the most special thing a Wizards fan has said to you? And uh, uh, several, several people have said this was that, you know, like this show kind of like saved their life. They what? were at a point where they were abused oh. or, um, you know, uh, going through, you know, really difficult things in their life, you know, yeah. kids um, going through, you know, have an identity crisis at that point in their life, going yeah. through whatever they're going through, coming out of the closet or, um, you know, discovering something new about themselves, whatever it may be. And um, they kind of felt like, you know, like this show was welcoming to them. Mm -hmm. Like we were a family to them. Some of these, yeah. some of these people didn't have families and this show was kind of a family for them. That's so that's, sweet. Oh so, my God. Yeah. That yeah. is, that's really, because we've talked about that, about how what was nice is not only the sense of family, but also how the show really celebrated, especially with Alex and kind of it trickled down from there. Mm -hmm. People that weren't cookie cutter. Yes. You know, because I felt like a, we talked about how in a lot of different shows, like the lead was always this perfect person and they had it all mm -hmm. together. And Alex was the opposite of that. She did not have it together. She was kind of a hot mess. Flawed but that man. was okay. She was a flawed person and she was not your typical person and, yeah. and she showed that it was okay to be different and i felt like that trickled down to like the whole family yeah. and we all loved each other just for us even yes, though we gave each other shit and yeah. you know we bickered and things like that but that means so much to me that 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 people got that from yeah. that. that you win blows my mind. that's the best answer to the questions you definitely win i i have a lot of people not kids but people come up to me and say you were my childhood yeah yeah you know, that, you i were, get that one a we lot were, we were with incredible. them growing up yeah. you know and now with the disney plus they get mm -hmm. to watch it all over again. Yeah. I mean, a completely a new audience and a bigger audience, you know, watching this and having the same, hopefully, reaction to it. Or they're, well, they're feeling yeah. comfortable. And it just, it them. blows my mind because I just got shot the hell. I mean, if my pancreas weren't useless, I'd rip it out of my body. I mean, okay. Sell it on the black my market. pancreas. <laughs> <laughs> no, what I was going to say before I was so rudely interrupted by dead tissue um, was basically just that like I never because because Deloise and I were talking too about how like as an actor you just are excited to work yeah and I felt that way too and I just never thought that I would be a part of something that people would have that kind of response to and how yeah. how blessed and like for, I mean I know that term's overused but like just how lucky I feel yeah we because were very of that. Lucky. I think that says for what you know we were talking about earlier is you know. The, the most sincere acting you do is when you're not working and not pushing it. Yeah. The more the most sincere work you do as a human being is when you're not working and not pushing it. You're not like, mm. I'm gonna I'm gonna change the world and make the world a better yeah. place for people. We were just doing what we loved and by doing that we made the world a better place. Yeah. You know? Oh. And we had amazing writing. Yeah. Yes. That helps oh, too. Yeah. Let's just <laughs> well, say it, it, wasn't, it wasn't just that. the actors by yeah. any means. No, by no, any no. means. Everybody involved and that, that's what I loved about being on the set. Everybody yeah. in every capacity so terrible. had every right to you know claim you know pride in what we were doing yeah you know everybody no matter who you ran into on that set loved being there and was proud of being there yeah. well bill on that note it has been yeah. so wonderful thank you so thank much you for so coming much for in we me. love you and i just love you too i want to reach over and spin your bolo but i can't because it doesn't spin it's very beautiful there's other there's things spin. i want to do but i'm not going to oh, do them Lord, right you now spin. Well, thinking about you spinning. Spin thank you so much for being here but i'm going to see myself out with you we heart you Right. Hey, thank you so much for watching this episode of Wizards of Waverly Pod. <laughs> if you want to watch clips from this episode, go to the Podco YouTube channel. The link is in the description. And if you can't get enough Wizards, heaven knows we can't, you can join our Patreon for exclusive weekly bonus content. There's a link in the description for that too. It's magical. Oh, see you next week. <laughs>